Walker Robinson, my good buddy, mm -hmm. in the old days of the 70s bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. And we're down in Gold's Venice, and we're going to do a little workout today on Rick's Corner with his bicep and tricep workout to show you how to get those magnificent arms. But I have Tell a, me about it. Look at that. See, look at that bicep, my God. But I have a question. Before sure. we get into this, we just finished the holidays. Uh -huh. We probably all cheated on our diet just a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Did you? No. You know, I just kind of kept it normal. You did know, you? Normal. Well, a Probably of, ate a little bit more. Okay, because a lot of people did. did. Now it's a new year. Yeah. you got to get right back on the diet again. Exactly. Right back on training again and yeah. keep on mark if you want to get the gains like Robbie has. Definitely. It's definitely the, the diet. And he's going to show you what he did to build that big bicep and tricep. And we're going to go into that right yeah. now. Eating good food is 90% of it. Is 90% of it. Now, we're going to start with what? We're going to start with the Scott Bench Curl. I call him the Scott Bench Curl because Larry Scott uh, did Larry Scott was, you know, he made it famous. Right. And um, it's one of my favorite exercises. I think there's probably two or three different um, moves that you can make to actually create Scott size bicep. I have a question on the Scott bench. I know mm -hmm. that when I do them, sometimes the elbows make a difference where you hit the bicep peak. Mm -hmm. If your elbows are out here, a diff different part of the bicep, you bring them in narrow. Yeah, I think what well, I'm seeing in you know the guy the day because I was actually sponsored by MD Magazine, right. and I was and he asked me what was going wrong, why the guy wasn't having biceps, and I think the whole thing starts when you're starting to let your arms spray. If the arms out here, what you're going to do really is not really build a great bicep. Not, you're probably working the brachialis that's my more. Point. But now, if you're going to turn your arms out and these last three fingers get involved in the curl, yeah. then you're going to activate more bicep power. Okay, let's see it. You got it. I think the Scott bench curl is probably the D exercise if you're really trying to like to build biceps. Okay. Because there's so many different moves you can make, and I think the most important part of it is these three fingers. Uh, that was a shot in uh, muscle and fitness I was watching the other day, yeah. and Joe Weed and all was describing it, and it's the last three fingers. I have a little problem with the three fingers. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are all like. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But, anyways, I think it's the whole thing is keeping the, your wrist slightly broken and keeping your body back. Don't let the arms spray. Keep the arms sealing to the bank right. so that the biceps are in that position. And I think the bar should, you should keep your body back find a position where you feel comfortable and curl one of them basically what I'm trying to do is get the bicep to pump the blood in there is five the, of them is the weight important mm -hmm. very important six of them progressively though seven of them okay put I, it down I, I also have a question about using the straight bar as opposed to the easy curl bar I kind of fluctuate I go back and forth it doesn't really matter does it, it doesn't really matter as okay. long as you can keep them the bicep over the forearm, over okay. the bicep and the forearm straight. Okay. Keeping it straight is going to activate more muscle fibers. Yeah, I know that sometimes when you sit down, like I said before, your elbows go in or out, but you want to keep them. You want to keep them. You want to keep them in. Right. And keep them pressing into the pad, keeping all the tension on the bicep. Lower the bar as far right. as you can. I would either come to this point sometimes, just flexing the muscle as much as I can, and then probably stretch and do a lot okay. more upper right. Now, is it necessary to go heavy, or do you, do you stay medium weight? You no, know, well, I just kind of stay with medium. It's a small muscle. Right. It's not really that big a muscle. Right. The most important part is the tricep. You want to get that tricep hairs okay. developed. Okay. You get all the tricep hair developed. That's going to create a real arm. So then when you flex it, the most important part is actually working on the peak and getting good shape, right. yeah. which I think is for you basically using dumbbells. We're going to do dumbbells next? Hmm? Dumbbells next? Yeah. Okay. I, think I, I consider this probably my, my, my building set. Because okay. I'm going to probably do three to four sets of it first. And then I'm going to probably take 70 to 80 pounds for how I feel, my energy level. Okay. And I'm going to probably, probably get about five or six reps. That's, that's what I'm trying, that's what I call all my building set. <clears throat> and you're lowering the reps. Oh, yeah. Lowering, I lower the reps with it. Because as the weight increases, if you're trying to build size, that's what you have to do. Right. Two minute rest to a minute rest between sets should be the guideline. Again, I say I want to get in that position <clears throat> and activate the biceps. One of them, keeping the body up, keeping the biceps stretching. There's two of them. It's three, you want to squeeze the bicep. Keep the tension on it. You said something to me a while back about always keeping your chest up and your head up. Yeah, it's very important because upper back arch plays a huge role in, you know, making the muscle look great right. on stage under the light. Right, because I see a lot of people bend way over and they lean way down. If you're bending over and leaning way down, you're probably putting more pressure on the trapezius. Exactly. <laughs> I, I tried it myself. Yeah, Just doing the exactly. same exercise, keeping my head up and my chest up, mm -hmm. upper back arch. Keeping the head up and the chest up is going to create more muscle fibers being activated. Right. Because see, that's what you're trying to curl into that position and flexing. Creates a nice round peak, but you got to be thinking about it. Got to be thinking about it. Yeah, you got to visualize what you're doing. <laughs> exactly. You got to. You have to have vision. If there's no vision, then 
It's like a waste of time. Totally. That's your goal. So yeah. The bicep for myself has always been about creating the all the little smaller muscles. Right. So if you work the brachialis and you get a nice peak exercise, you work the outer heads of the tricep, then so when you flex, the arm is going to automatically look bigger. It gives all that shape to Yeah, it. because you're creating all the shape of the tricep heads out right. along with having a nice peak and a brachialis in Right. That brachialis is going to make the arm look that much bigger. So I kind of leave him using dumbbells for that exercise. I use probably no more than probably 10 pounds. Again, it's back to the upper back arch. And the whole thing is, is the, it, we call it the Zotman curl. I remember those. Again, you're talking stretching, see? If the, tri if the bicep is in a stressed position, you're going to have a higher peak. That's automatic. And you this, allow that bicep this, to stretch. This angle on the wrist, like mm -hmm. Zotman or Hammer curl, yeah. is what stretches the bicep. It stretches the okay. bicep. So what I try to do is curl it to this position, and as the weight is going down, it's rotating oh, to see. that position. So you're working the brachialis. Right. That brings the brachialis in there and there's a side of the forearm, right. which actually, again, is going to create more size and shape. Right. So as you're going through this rotation, again, keeping your upper chest, upper back arch, yeah. you get your nice little rhythm going. And what you're trying to do is work for probably eight to 10 reps, four of them, five of them, keeping the arms in tight. 10. Yeah, I see. What I'll do is probably be um, four sets of 10s. Okay. And I'm really working for the burn in the muscle groups and all the heads. So when I come at it, I'm going to flex a little bit, flex the muscles a little bit, maybe even hit a couple of side chest shots. I'm going to keep the muscle, in, the blood into the area, yeah. to sharpen the muscle so it looks good when I hit a side chest shot. Yeah, the weight's not important on this. You're not going heavy at all. No, see, that's what it is. It's just it's, it's being able to kind of lock in on it. Well, you know you want big arms. You know you want shape and size. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're, you're working for having the best, biggest arms in the world. So right. that was always my thought. Ah, and when I do an exercise, that's what I'm thinking. Big arm, big exercise, Scott Bitch. Shapely arms, stop the curl, making sure I'm laying that dumbbell, working for that burn in the side of the arm. So when the judge said double bar from the rear, I can throw my arms up and you're going to see all these other little bitty right. muscles too. So well, they all that's going to make play. the arm look that much bigger. Exactly. That's what gives, exactly. It, gives it the shape. Oh yeah. And he does have big arms. No question about it. <laughs> that's why we're here. Um, oh, yeah. What else do you want to do from bicep before we go to tricep? Um, from this point on, curl to that position. One of them. It's two. It's three. Four. Keeping the head up in the back, see the upper back arch? Yep. Four of them. You want to bring it to the top of the chin and squeeze. Six of them. Seven. Eight. Nine of them. You see I'm holding it up there, see? Right. Ten. That's giving you more peak. That's more peak. Eleven of them. Put the bar oh, down. Oh. I would kind of even shake the muscle a little bit. What that does is allow more blood to go into the muscle group. Right, you're feeding it. I have a question though. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between this, this movement and mm -hmm. the preacher bench movement you did with the bar because it's very similar. It's more, it's more isolated. It is more Because isolated. by bringing your hands in a little bit, it forces the work that outside peak a little bit. Right. And you don't have the bench on the back of the tricep to support yourself. It's exactly. all free hanging. Yes, free hanging. All right. So, that's so the... all you're being activated really is the bicep. Okay. Nothing else, nothing else is involved. It's almost like you got this isolated mind and the only thing that is moving really is the outer head on your tricep. bicep. Okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. All right, so those are the three major ones you do. Yeah, that's it. All right, let's move the tricep and see what we got for that. You got it. Okay. So we're gonna do, we did, we did three exercises for bicep. Now we're gonna do three exercises that Robbie uses for tricep, which completes the arm. It'll give you the shape and, and how you get the shape and size that you want to build that massive arm like Robbie's. The triceps are, are like really the biggest part of the body, of, right. of creating a big arm. And a lot of guys always start with the bicep first. But my, in my mind, in my world, when I train, I always start with the tricep first. I try to make sure I get the exercises that will activate the heads, make the heads look bigger, and, and apply a lot of stretch it into the exercise. Is that why you start with the tricep first? That's why I try to start with it first. Okay. So that gets the blood warmed up. It won't be easier then to pump the bicep, the bicep in the back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This I use. I always use a rope in this exercise. Right. Sometimes I use the handle to find a nice real bent handle. Okay. And I try to use the weight, get my weight up under the bar. I want to make sure that my triceps are close to my head. And what I want to do is I press the weight upward. I want to kind of rotate it. If I you notice, that, I'm yeah. flexing the outside part of that roll. That flexes the tricep. 
Once I get my rhythm going, I want to keep the weight, my elbows to the side of my head and squeeze one of them. Probably 12 reps, two, it's three of them. Looking up for squeezing the tricep, it's five of them. Six, seven of them, eight, squeezing at the top, nine of them, it's 10, it's 11 of them. 12. Okay, See, now, now it's already burning. I have a question though. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have a, 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 a bad shoulder, such as I do, or some guys have a bad shoulder, and they can't get their arms up that high over their head. What I would do, if, that, if, if, if you can find it, that's the whole idea about you know, developing a great uh, muscle group or developing body parts, is finding the exercises that actually do the job. Right. <laughs> See, a lot of guys, I think, participate in all these weird exercises, but it's really not happening like you want. You've yeah. got to stick with the basics if you're right. trying to build body parts. So it's basically to find that position where you can actually not be bothered, that shoulder's not activated. Okay. If it was me, I had some problem with it, I'd raise the bar. Oh, I see. I'd raise the and bar then up. You do it, then you do it leaning yeah. forward. And do it, yeah. Okay, because I can do that. Do it this way leaning forward, see? Right. Like again, I can put my hands into my side right. and force that tricep to work, stretching it at the top and at the bottom. I got yeah. you. So I kind of go back and forth between these two positions, you know, to kind of create varieties, to create well, uh, in the bodybuilding world is, is confusion, muscle confusion. Right. I like doing that because it's just, you know, it makes, it well, creates more fun. In. I'm confused all the time anyway, so it's really good for me. <laughs> no, but you're using the two major exercises for tricep that are definitely uh, a must. Yeah. You've got it overhead and you got it straight down. Mm -hmm. and those so I kind of rotate between those two for yeah. probably three to four sets. I see. Yeah. Heavier days, probably less. Is there what other tricep exercises do you do besides I, I love close grip press. Okay. I think that is one of the exercises that actually really give the arm size, especially here. So it's close grip to the chest out? Yeah, close grip to the chest with an easy okay. curl bar or with a straight bar. I okay. kind of go back and forth between the two. Let's do those. Okay. On that, on, on that loop there, that little lump there, I want to make sure my hands are right on that. I want to add this position. I want to use my knees as leverage so it takes the stress off my lower back and off my, you know, off my knees. Yeah. And I want to get momentum. If you notice, I want to put my chest up there. See where my hands are, Rick? Yeah, yeah. And then what you want to do is push with the heel of your hand. One of them. Keep the chest up to That's three of them. Four. You see where the elbows are? I do. Five of them. Six. Seven of them. Eight. Ride it down. Increase the weight for five or six reps. I remember um, years back that Bill Pearl used to use this. Oh, yeah. But he would do behind the head, mm -hmm. to the forehead, yep. and then finish oh, off yeah. with Three those. different positions. Three you can different do it. positions. Yes. Yeah. It's so a great exercise. That's basically your whole arm workout. Basically. I don't kind of change it. Well, let me ask you a question, Robbie. Mm -hmm. You think it's work for you? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I think, I, it, think so. I think it's so. I think it would, it would definitely put the muscle in. Yes, it does. I think it'll definitely put the peaks in the size and the shape. And if you're really working at it, getting the right nutrition and yeah. stuff like that. And how many times? How many times a week do you work arms? Maybe two. That's it. I train them twice a week. Because yeah. they get work on your chest and shoulders and everything else besides yeah. that. Because I think they're being affected by all that stuff. So I don't really kill the smaller muscle groups. I kind of like really put as much well, blood that's in there. The, that's the thing that if the small muscle, you, you, you can overwork it pretty easy. Yeah, it's a small muscle group, so you should be trying to put more emphasis on that tricep to build a big arm. It's too, it's and too, then maybe work on the other time, but maybe the next time around, try to work on all the things that creates the shape and puts the blood in the bicep and makes it look better and so you don't relax. This is great. Well, yeah. there you've had first-hand information from Robbie Robinson on Rick's Corner, how to build big arms with Robbie. I'm telling you. You can do it. You just have to make up your mind to do so. <laughs> he's the man, and he's number one in my book. We're going to be coming back to do more body parts as well. Right, Rob? Glad to believe it. We look excited about We're it. We're in for the long haul in 2012. <laughs> look want, out for us. That's right. You want, we want you to join us every, every time we're on, or on Rick's Corner and build along with us. And thanks for watching Rick's Corner. Hope you enjoyed the video brought to you by Old School Labs. Use my discount code Grayson12 on the link below at OldSchoolLabs.com. Hey everyone, now you can have the Gold's Gym logo drawn by me, the artist Rick Drayson, personalized and made out to you and signed by me to frame and put on your gym wall or wherever you see fit to do so. It's a piece of bodybuilding history 
It will never be duplicated again. It's the largest selling icon t-shirt logo in the world. And I'm the guy that drew it. And I will draw it for you. Just go to my website, rickdrazen.com, and order there. You can pay through PayPal, and it'll be sent out right away. And be sure to watch Rick's Corner for all the videos on bodybuilding, nutrition, fitness, pro wrestling, and anything that suits your interests as far as getting physically fit and being the best you can be from the golden era of bodybuilding. Baby, see you next time.